Uncle. Baby, get up. Turn around. Yeah, okay. It's okay. You still gonna have a good day at school, okay? Come here. Give me a kiss. It's okay. Be careful, okay? You got your backpack on, can't be running like that. Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on, baby. We pulled up to the school. You ready to go to school, baby? Yeah. Yeah, this is a, mm, this is big stuff for me, like. This is a big stuff for me. Am my baby ready to go to school? I gotta let him go to school, so. The closer we got here, like, I, like, I just started crying, cause it's like, 
this is my only baby and he's three years old time for me to like let him go to the world so that he can get an education so that he can be successful in life oh lord have mercy if y'all knew me person personally like y'all know how overprotective i am about my baby and for me to like have no choice but to leave him with somebody like some people i don't know like this stuff is like really hard for me i just pray i've been praying for my baby like i always pray for him but i've been praying even harder because it's like i'm scared or whatever but i gotta trust god and that's who i trust because if it was up to me and if i can do it i homeschool my baby like i wouldn't even Cause my baby not even crying and it's like I know that like he might like this my only baby like and I just protect him so much you ready to go to school hmm cry no more okay baby mommy gonna stop crying come on come on mommy baby Baby, it's this way. Give me a hand. Hi. No, 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 Russell. Why are you walk in the grass? Look at you. You ready? Give me five. Give me five. Now you doing? Excuse me, excuse me. Go to go to class. What are you getting? <laughs>
Mommy, give mommy a kiss. <laughs> you gonna be a big boy? <laughs> you gotta figure it out, baby. You gotta go like this.
do not. I do not. I do not. I do not want to leave my baby. And I think about it like he is not crying. It's a lot of students, like a lot of babies up in there crying and everything, but my baby, he, he not crying. And that's a good thing. And I told him that I wasn't gonna cry no more, but it's hard. So right now, while my baby is in school, I'm gonna go try to enroll myself in school. Cause as y'all already know, like, I'm a single parent at the moment. And I had my baby like at 21, so I had to wait. You know, I took a break after school and stuff like that. But by 25, I was like, I wanted to get, you know, my career started and stuff like that. But something happened. <laughs> And my husband got incarcerated and um i had to you know be there for my baby 24 7. i wasn't able to work or to go to school because i wouldn't have had no one to watch my baby so now i'm going to go to school you know while my baby in school get my life started you know i'm not just gonna be sitting around doing any you know not doing nothing with my life so that's where i'm about to go on my way to now and when I get there or after I get there, I'll tell y'all what happened. I'm just going to go enroll in the community college and stuff like that. And then I'll just tell y'all where I go from there. I hope this time fly by and 217 get here fast so that I can come back and pick up my baby. So, I have to record today, too. I probably don't be able to record until Tuesday. Right now, I probably don't be able to record until Tuesday. But, I'm going to have to do something very pr productive with my life and with my day. And I just pray that God keep my baby covered and strongly. Mighty name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, you know. Keep him in the palm of his hands, protected as his shield. You know, no weapons formed against my baby shall prosper. In my name of Jesus, I pray to you, O Heavenly Father. Amen. Okay, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all, so I went to um, go and enroll myself into a community college, but the thing about it is. I was homeschooled, supposedly, for um, my 11th grade year. It was my 10th grade year. No. Okay. Well, it was, it was my second year, yeah, so it was my 10th grade year of high school. And I stopped going to a um, public school and I started, I had got homeschooled. And the homeschool that I was attending, they, um, like I found out that the diploma is fake. And don't nobody accept that diploma. So I have to get my GED. Oh my God, this is so nerve wracking. Thinking that I'm fifth and rolling college, but I was already prepared for the worst because I had did some research on this um, diploma. Like, I wanna say they start saying that this stuff like a year or two after I got it or something. 
but it was saying that I was zoned to a certain, not zoned, it was saying that I was supposed to attend a certain college. Sorry for this lighting, y'all. But it was saying that I was supposed to be attending a certain college. So the college that they were saying that I was supposed to be attending that, except that uh, the plumber, that's where I just went. And they do not accept it. So now I'm going to go study for my GED and just pay for my GED. I'm about to get my life on the road. I got nothing but time. Uh, my baby is in school now. My mama telling me not to. My mama telling me not to stalk the school. She like Krista and I be stalking at school. So I'm just sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make sure that the lighting be good for y'all because it be trying to H O E me. But I'm gonna go meet up with my mama right now at the grocery store so that I could have my baby some snacks for when he get out of school like some chips and cookies and juices and stuff so that's what i'm about to go get now and get him some milk for his cereal i can't wait to go get him how a baby is behind his mama that's how i am behind my baby like i just love my baby so 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 much I promised God that I was going to do right by him. I'm so unpredictable about my baby that it don't make no sense. Like, my mom is a good mom. Like, she my mom and she did, like, a great job with me. And my baby, he only spent the night at my mama house probably only twice. And she be like, Krista, do not come over here and get him. Be on my way to come get him. She be trying to run and hide and run for me. I be right in front of her house right before she get in that car. She be like, damn, you must was um. She be like, damn, you must was on your way. She said you must was on your way when you was on the phone. I was like, I was. <laughs> Cause I be already knowing what she be trying to do. She be trying to take people, baby. Up the y'all i'm trying to grow my hair to a certain length and for me to do that i have to wear protective styles so that i can stay out of my hair so that's what i'll be doing when y'all see these wigs and stuff on my hair and braids and stuff those are my protective hairstyles because if i wear anything else um, like if I constantly wear my real hair, I'ma constantly stay. Oh, why you hair you gonna park right there? Like I wouldn't fit the park right there. Like if I wear my real hair, I'ma constantly. I know you ain't talking shit to me because I hop out this car and knock the fuck your beans up. Like bitch, don't play, please save yourself.
Yeah, this is my first time doing some stuff like this. I'm vlogging and all of that. I got my mama car right there. Big P coming down real. I ain't playing with no bitch. But she already in here. Y'all, I should have, um, I don't know if I should have came to the grocery store. She gonna try to make me put her groceries up and help her and stuff. Baby, a whole bunch of goodies that I know that he likes. I be, I get my baby these right here. Bright beginning, beginners. I mean, beginnings. Pediatric drinks. Get him like three, eight, sixteen. <sighs> My baby be running through them damn drinks. And then I gotta go get a gallon of milk. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get some chips. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna get Russell some chips and his stuff and I'm gonna go find my mama and when I find her, we're gonna come back, okay? How that I'm just saying my flat booty. You better be quiet if I prank you. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Y'all, I found my mama or whatever like that, but my camera is about to go dead, so I'ma go home, charge my battery, and y'all will be seeing me when I go pick up my baby. I love y'all. I love y'all so, 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 so very much. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I left my, I came home, I let my battery charge. And last time y'all see me, I was in a grocery store getting my baby some snacky wakey dackies. And... And... And y'all know it was my baby first day of school. 
I last time I was talking to y'all I was telling y'all about I wanted to go enroll in school but when I went to go try to enroll in school the high school diplomas that I had got from being homeschooled they said that it was some type of fraud or something like that so therefore I can't use that high school diploma to get in no type of colleges because they don't accept it so now I'm on the road to try to get my GED or try to get the rest of my credits to get my high school diploma and I haven't been in high school in like a good five years so i don't know how that's gonna go but either way i go i must drive hard to get my ged to get this on the road it's just i haven't been in school in so long and i'm looking at these geometry questions like what the i don't even remember you taught that i don't even remember or well, whatever so i had went to the grocery store and when i went to go get my baby last time i told y'all that i was going to get him some snacks i went to go get him some honey bun some um those milks that y'all will see up on here i had got him some chips and some crackers and now i'm about to be on my way to go get my little sticky dicky and i have him a little lunch kit because he's not able to take lunch to that school for some odd reason. I don't like that, but they say that they can't bring lunch and stuff. So I got him a little pouch right here. And I have him some funyuns up in here. A honey bun. And some peanut butter on cheese crackers. And I'm going to go in the kitchen. I'm gonna grab his water. Make sure it's not. Okay, it's very icy cold for him to grab him his water. And that's what I have for his little snack for when he get in the car and tell me how his day went at school and stuff. <laughs> And then I have his tablet so that, you know, he loves his tablet, but he's not able to take this to school because school is for learning, not for playing. So I got his tablet and I'm about to be on my way to go get my baby. And I'm so happy. I tried to doze off because it's like I don't have no peace of mind when my baby not here. I have peace of mind when my baby is here. But when he's not here, I don't have peace of mind. I know that that sounds crazy, but I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Oh, whatever, I'm crazy. I know my daddy was like, I'll be up in there asleep, blah, 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 blah. But I can't even sleep. I won't be able to sleep until I get my baby. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be able to sleep. But I caught myself dozing off. And I thought I heard something. I caught myself dozing off. And as soon as I started dozing off, my husband called. So it was like, now it's time for me to go get my baby. So let me see what time it is. It's 2.14. The earliest I can pick him up is 2.17. And I'm about to go get him, so yeah, I'll see y'all once I'm in the car. Oh my god, y'all, it is baking out here. If y'all like my glasses, I will be putting the link at the bottom. I already did a review to these glasses, they were a sponsored video, but I will go ahead and um put the link to these glasses these are my seeing eyeglasses like I say okay so I'm about to go get my baby what time is it 2 19 
so yeah y'all um today is monday i think i'm going to edit this video and post it for monday's video since it's still kind of you know since it's still kind of early bitch it was my turn you know that but yeah since it's still kind of early i can just go ahead on and edit this video and post it for y'all and then for wednesday video i probably post three times a week if y'all would like for me to start posting three times a week let me know or would y'all like for me to post two times a week and go live once a week let me know y'all have to start interacting with me because if y'all don't i would never know what y'all like you know i ask y'all questions i always ask y'all questions but for some reason y'all never answer them just let me know. I hate when my damn lip ring gets stuck on my damn teeth. Y'all, I know I'm looking like a grandma right now, but hey, this shit is life. tell from my video how I am behind my baby but this video will give y'all a little input on my life I'm very very so much in love with my child that's the best thing God could have blessed me with besides him himself and of course my husband because if it wasn't for my husband I wouldn't have my baby okay You know, when I was in H-E-B and I was holding a camera and all, people was looking at me like, what is she doing? Or whatever like that, but I don't be paying. I ain't paying no mind, but I kind of think that I was, I would like vlogging. If y'all be into that. That's the only way y'all to be able to get to know things about me is if I vlog, you know? Because if I do my try on house all the time, y'all would never know nothing about my life. Because my try on house mostly be about my clothes that I be, you know, trying to tell people about. But when I vlog, you have no choice but to know about my life. You know, just like today, we done found out that my high school diploma um, was a fraud. And I hope that I can uh, sue them. Because it took me like a whole year to even finish that whole packet on top of paying, you know what I'm saying? kind of messed up my life even though you know GED is something you know that you know for people that don't finish high school or have problems like what I'm experiencing right now you know what I'm saying it's, it's just messed up people just out here to get money and stuff don't matter if they messing up people life you know like they don't care it's all about a book I wish I knew how to go by suing them Should have let your dusty ass stay. Um, about to say. I'm sorry for my mom. I get this potty mouth from my mom. I'm so happy I talked to my baby today. I love when my husband called me. I cannot wait for my husband to come home. somebody in my comments they was like why they say why your husband i never at home and i'm like you you can't be a loyal subscriber if you don't know where my husband is because i'm very open with that i don't have nothing to hide i'm not ashamed of my husband and his actions things happen and it's just life 
posting up all on my stuff okay so I'm here and I'm about to go see my baby Come 
You took a nap? You took a nap? Did you take a nap? Say bye, teacher. Mommy, be here. Go ahead and sit in place. Bye, I love you. See you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> you had fun, baby? <laughs> Why, baby? You don't want to go to school no more? <laughs> baby, why? I thought she was ready to go to school. <laughs> I thought you wanted to go to school. <laughs> You bet. No. Take your backpack on. No, I'm you can't sit up in your um car seat with your backpack on. No, no. Mommy got you some snacks, Stinky. Mm -hmm. Mommy got you some snacks. No, no, no. What you say, baby? Mommy got yeah, mommy got you some snacks. Oh. See look. Could you see that on baby? Oh. Hello. Huh? No, who is this? Snacks. I got you some water, some crackers, some chips, and a honey bun. Mm, Want your chips? And mommy brought your tablet too. You miss me? Huh? You miss me? Yeah. How was school? Huh? How was school? Huh? huh? I love mommy. You love your school? Good job. You ready to go to school tomorrow? Good Lord, say the same. Yeah. You what? Yeah. Okay. You like your teacher? Huh? You like your teacher? Huh? What you supposed to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not supposed to say yeah. You're supposed to say yes now. You told your teacher your name? Uh -huh. What you tell her? Teacher, what name? Your teacher asked your name and what you, what, what's your name? Uh -huh. What's your name? Uh -huh. Baby Russ. <laughs> Your name Russell, baby. Mommy just call you baby Russell because you named after your daddy. Your daddy called today. Baby Russell. Baby Russell. Huh? I was crying today. I was I was crying when I took you to school. I was like, I miss my baby. <laughs> and I was crying. Huh? You seen me? You seen me crying? I was gonna miss my baby. That's why I was crying. But I'm so proud of you, baby. You didn't cry at all. You mommy big boy. Ain't that right? Russell. No, what you don't say what to me. Okay, now I'm about to, I, I think I need to whoop you. Ooh. Hi, mama. <laughs> no, mama. Russell. Huh? What? No, you say 
say ma'am. Yeah, just like when your teacher asks you something, you say ma'am. You don't say what. That's rude. Okay. Okay, stinky. Did you go play at the park? Huh? Did you go to the park? Huh? Y'all, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to teach my baby manners. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to teach my baby manners. Because it started at home. I don't need him going to that school answering those teachers way and all that. Oh, these people getting on my nerves. tried to take something from you? Oh. You supposed to tell the teacher, okay? You want to go back to school? Huh? Okay. And when you go, okay. I'm going to ask you later on, do you want to go to school? Because, baby, you know education is the number one key to success. You know that? Huh? You know that, baby? You got to have education. Okay, Stinky? I love you. Huh? Why are you acting like you mad? like you miss me Russ you miss me huh I can't hear you take you back to school. No. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking you back to school. No. No. Do you miss me? No. Uh -uh, that's fake. You're just using me as a getaway to get you out of school. Should have let him stay a little longer. He don't even miss me. Yeah, this camera trying to make me look like I'm colored or something. I don't know if it's going to look like this on the laptop, but I look like I'm colored. Like, don't be coloring me without my permission, and it's just that. This is what you call a busy, busy mama. Busy day. I 
I really don't. I don't be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't go out looking for attention and shit. And I promise, you will be surprised how many people be like flagging my car, blowing in my car when we have to stop, like when I'm leaving somewhere and stuff like that. You'll be surprised and I'll be looking just like this. They don't see no, no shape, nothing. How I mean? Your teacher nice? Your teacher not mean? Your teacher not mean? Your teacher mean? You mean? You mean? I seen you slap that little boy. You mean? You mean, Russell, you mean. I don't baby what? Huh? Man, oh yeah, my ah, oh, hell nah. <laughs> now I don't know what that school done did to my baby, but he can he bad. He just said I'ma throw this chill. But I'm not proud of my I'm not you know, I'm not encouraging him to slap nobody, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm not encouraging him to do that. But my baby not a fighter and people always try to take stuff from him and stuff like that. And that was one of the things, too, I was afraid of at the schools. I thought that, you know, he was going to be getting bullied and stuff. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> that little boy tried to take that from him. Like, that's not good, you know what I'm saying? But I'm happy that he defended himself. He not just, you know, he not just putting his hands on people for no reason. And then I don't know what happened before that slap occurred. Like he said, the little boy was trying to take his red toy from him. And when I was standing behind them, the teacher was like, you have to share. And she also, she also told the other kid, Russell, turn that down. She also told the other kid that he need to learn how to ask for stuff and don't just take it. So I promise my baby, he he just, you know, he the only child. And like I already told y'all, like I'm an overprotective mom. Like I don't let him go nowhere. And he the only child. So like this is a new experience for him because he able to be around other kids and stuff. And make friends and stuff like that. And learn how to be sociable. So, I'm pretty excited for that, you know, because I really don't have a choice because your baby have to go to school and I, I want my baby to have an education, so. I'm about to turn in these apartments. They not just to play with me like this, they is not. And then right now my baby is just in a like a little ouchie. My baby is in like a little head start. So, I put him in a head start because he turned, like his birthday come late, you know, when school is already started. So once he turned four, which is next month, I'm going to try to see if I can enroll him into a, a real, like a real school. Cause you know, for you have to be on the wait list to get your child in school at three. So I'm just trying to, you know, have him on point with his education and not behind. Even though kids mostly go to school at five, we not having that. Why do I look like I'm colored? Or is it just my glasses making me look like that? But y'all shall y'all will be seeing me looking sexy pretty soon. I know y'all tired. <laughs> I know y'all tired of seeing me look like this, but I be busy, y'all. And I just try to make sure I post for y'all. Come on. You know what? 
Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm stupid for you to be trying to go that way. But yeah, I tried to post for y'all as much as I could. So that is the reason why. Oh, last time I did that prank. And when I did that prank, y'all, the prank really didn't start until at least about two hours later. So that's why I looked it out hot and greasy and stuff because the prank didn't start right away like I planned on it. So I had to wait. And then today I was calling, I was supposed to go enroll in school. But that didn't happen. Then it was my baby first day of school, and I didn't. I don't even really wear makeup like that. So, but for my videos, I try to do my makeup and look, you know, presentable because that is my business that I'm building. Okay. So yeah, y'all will see me dolled up, and y'all will see the regular me. That's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to feel as comfortable as y'all could with me like as if y'all know me you know but i'm gonna correct you if you're wrong so don't just go assuming stuff we're not gonna do that but yeah i love y'all so much and i hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog slash you know entering a piece of my life and also experiencing my baby first day of school with me i know that i was emotional at the very beginning of the video but y'all gotta understand like i had to leave i gotta leave my baby with a stranger this my only child you know like it's just you know it's not i know i'm not the only one that went through that that went through this so I know I'm not the only one that went through that. And I knew I was going to cry because what well, it's different from when I drop him off at my mama's house and I can pick him up whenever I want. You know what I'm saying? Even if I don't want him to stay with me, like, over there or whatever. <laughs> or if I'm missing him or whatever, I can just go to my mama's house and just pick him up. But it's different when you have to leave your child and you're leaving him with somebody you don't even know. You don't miss the house that bad. You don't. <laughs> you ugly. Well, take it out. You want me. I know you don't want me after you said you don't miss me. I just know that. I just know. I know you. I know you I like it. I'm going to have to take you back to school. Yes. You're going. You're going. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're not going to your house. You're going to school. You miss your house? Huh? You miss your house? Yes. What? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, my baby hair is long. Uh-uh, you don't miss me. Get off of me, sir. You got to go in your house. Bye. Go. No. Sir. Sir. Okay, y'all, this is the end of this vlog slash overprotective mom family. Well, overprotective mom taking her baby to head start or whatever the title gonna be. I love y'all so, so very much and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Kiss!